YSK not everyone that uses handicap placards parking will appear disabled to you. YYSK it's offensive to assume someone without clear disability is just gaming the system or being in a hole. I overheard some of my co-workers talking about a young woman in an ugly car with tons of liberal bumper stickers, colored hair, and the B-dollar had the audacity to park in a handicap spot and she wasn't even disabled followed up with an if I see that I will give them a piece of my mind. I immediately knew they were talking about my so ha ha. So I chimed in, mentioned it's my so, and that she is in fact disabled. More days than not she is fine. But they have a progressive movement disorder similar but different to ALS. At this moment it isn't very noticeable unless you've known him for a while. I didn't really mean to chastise them, as I knew they were mostly joking around. But the topic quickly changed. Just because you can't identify the disability, you shouldn't judge or trash talk them. My daughter-in-law was injured in the military and has had numerous surgeries in her leg and ankle. She looks and walks normally but it is very painful for her to walk very far. But she sucks it up and parks in regular spaces because she is tired of getting her car keyed. Whenever I'm accosted about parking in a handicapped spot, I just tell them I'm psychotic and prone to violence whenever I'm approached in an annoying or threatening manner. They generally leave me alone after that. The wife has a placard. What she doesn't have is part of her left lung. One adrenal gland. And a gallbladder. Luckily they got all of the tumors that were in her head. She looks fine though. I've been bullied. Followed. Harassed and once even assaulted over using my placard because I don't look disabled and dress. Pretty dang cute most of the time. So much that I stopped using it for about three years. Then I grew up and stopped giving a f about those cranky PPL who like to judge and treat others poorly so I use mine when I need it. You don't have x-ray vision. Weird. Then how can you tell why my doctor gave me this gift? This. As a young person with chronic illnesses my diabetic neuropathy gets me my placard I'm dreading. Running into someone who thinks I'm faking. If I were faking, I wouldn't be actively wishing my feet were simply not there instead of the fiery horrible pain and balance-ridden skis they are. I could handle the ton of other things wrong with me. But neuropathy and dysautonomia takes the fucking cake. It's like being roasted alive in hell. Absurd pouring sweat and pain included. Thank you. Yes. I have fibromyalgia and joint connective tissue tissues. And pretty severe CFS. And I've gotten so many shitty looks from people for using my disability placard. Especially on days when I don't need my mobility aids. But even when I'm using my cane or freaking wheelchair. There's this totally bullshit belief. Especially among the older folks. That because I'm young. Clearly I can't be disabled. Because. IDK. Why it's so stupid. Young people can be disabled. Too. And young disabled people deserve the same accommodations as anyone else. I have a child who is disabled. I have parked in a handicapped parking spot using her placard without her in the car. I'm a 6 feet 6,225 pounds. Able-bodied man. People have said angry things at me for doing this. I have parked there because I was there to pick my child and her wheelchair up and wanted to make the process easier for everyone. Believe me. It wasn't just for fun and it's not really anyone's business. Yes. I taught a student that had a gymnastics accident at 16 and spent a year learning how to walk again. She broke her back in several places. 
Of course was issued a pass and needs one. But you could never tell just watching her walk into a store or something. I'm planning to apply for one due to my chronic illnesses. I appear young and in okay health to many people and I've gotten bitched out for using the mobility carts in Walmarts the few times I've let myself. I'm in 710 pain RN and my joints dislocate when I walk. Parking closer can mean the difference between being able to finish my shopping or getting too tired in pain and having to leave before I'm done and then rest for two days after. YSK mind your own business. Yep. Had a friend. Late 20s male. Athletic. Drove a jeep. Had handicap plates. 80 of the time you'd never think he was handicapped and usually he didn't park in those spots on his good days. On the bad days. When his stumps hurt or his prosthetics were broken. He absolutely needed that spot. My son can drive his car. Get out and pull his wheelchair out of the trunk. May look strange. But he can't walk for more than 50 yards without extreme pain in all leg joints hip. Knees. Ankle. Feet. He can stand to get stuff off the shelves. But can't reach above his head due to shoulder issues. He'll be stuck in that chair 100 soon enough. Don't give him any more grief. I have one because I cannot walk that far. And trying to park in regular spot at most places is too far for me to actually get any small errand done. It's not super obvious that I'm disabled it's time and distance for a lot of people and some days are way worse than others I only use those spots if regular ones are not close. Had an old friend get a disability BART card taken from him by a BART employee because he didn't look like he had a disability but he was mentally challenged. BART Bay Area Rapid Transportation is pretty much the train system that goes throughout the San Francisco Bay Area. The amount of harassment I got in college from random people was insane. Like. Bro I'm sorry I'm hot so you can't conceive my severe pain. Woman shrugging. Related we drive all sorts of cars. 2. If you see a tag. Fuck off and go on about your business. If you don't see a tag. Confrontation probably isn't the answer anyway. I have a placard and worry about someone giving me a hard time. So much that I don't always use it. But depending on the day, I sometimes hope that someone will say something so I can be like I've had two back surgeries. What's wrong with you? Lol. My mom has Ra that is poorly controlled. She has good days and really bad days where she can barely get out of bed. I've been begging her to get a handicap placard because her disease is progressive and her joints will continue to deteriorate. She refuses because she doesn't look disabled. My grandmother got harassed several times for utilizing her handicapped place card. She got it after having part of her lung removed due to lung cancer. She looked perfectly healthy but she got tired out of breath extremely easily due to it which is why she parked in handicapped spaces whenever possible. I've also been harassed about parking in a handicapped spots multiple times. I love the embarrassed look they get when I pull out my husband's wheelchair and help him into it. Some people just need to get over themselves. When I lived in West Seattle, I got people being incredibly rude to me weekly. It was insane. I have a lot of metal hardware in one of my legs and nerve damage but because I don't look disabled and I am fat. It set folks off so bad. Once a guy followed me into the market, yelling at me saying I was lazy and abusing the system.